Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to send an email when new file is created in the OneDrive and also we will send that attachment in the email as well. Okay, so let's go and see how we can do this task by using Power Automate. Okay, so here i'm in the mic dot power automate just click on the new flow click on the trigger let's click on the skip we will use new designer for the creation of this flow okay let's provide the name to our flow send an email when file is created in OneDrive. okay we not need copilot so let's minimize this copilot let's click on the add trigger okay and let's search here for onedrive always whenever we need to work with any connector search there okay so here we have some action when file is created when file is modified when for a selected file when file is created properties only and when file is modified properties only okay so we have two action when file is created and file is created okay so what is the difference between these two action when file is created we will get the content as well okay and with the file is created we will get the properties only okay so we want this action okay to send an attachment yeah let's select the folder here okay let's select any folder root in the here let's we select the apps okay here we have include sub folders if in the subfolder any file is created then also it will run and content type okay how often it will check it will check every one minute okay. let's click on the add action let's search your outlook click on the see more send an email v2 let's click to switch to advanced mode here we have some of the information file identifier file name file content type file content okay this much information we only have okay so we need to provide the email address manually okay let's I type my email here that's it switch to basic mode and then Let's provide the subject here. Okay. New file is created in with the name. Let's provide the name. Let's provide the email here. Okay. So let's I copy this. Let's paste it here. Okay and add some more dynamic content okay we have the path then we have the entity tag content type dynamic and if we, okay so this much information we have let's i cut this okay go to microsoft copilot okay in the copilot will give the prompt and ask copilot to write an email for us so here i just give on one message kindly help me to write an email okay so this is information okay
so we have the email now okay let's we go use our power automate here okay use your control v let's add the name here okay hi team we need to add the attachment so in the show all okay just click on the attachment here okay let's provide the name okay click on dynamic content file name and attachment content we will use file content okay so our flow is ready let's click on the save so you can be see our flow is saved now let's see test our flow okay by clicking on test manually trigger test so it's seeing to perform the action okay so in the app we need to create and file okay so first we go in the power apps let's copy one of the file okay or move to let's we use move to action here to move our file from one file to the another it is loading okay so here we need to go to my files okay in the my files we need to move this file to the app in this and simply just click on the move here so we move our file successfully okay it is just moving okay taking some time okay move one item is added so let's i go to the make dot power automate and let's see what this we are getting okay so it will take one minute to trigger our flow okay so we wait for a couple of seconds so friends you can be see we receive a new file is created okay file is added here okay you can be see and the email also we will get successfully okay that's all friends if you have any question any doubt you can be asked me in the comment box thank you